Warning, this video contains spoilers for Dragon Age Inquisition. Kill the Inquisitor. It's been two years since the Inquisition proved itself an organization everyone in Thedas could respect. You act as if you're the solution to every problem. How long before you drag us into another war? That time is over. <laughs> Oh, oh, already in a cutscene. Interesting. And why am I alone? Okay, we have petrified Kunari. A lot of them. Hmm. That's Solas's work, I can tell. Where is with the Sala? Who they were fighting? They, they... Ever seat Kata, it were Ost. Ooh, here he is. Maras Kata. Your forces have failed. Leave now and tell the Canari to trouble me no further. Will he kill her? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He was. He did Solace. this. Hi. Damn, he looks cool. Now this will be... That should give us more time. Oh. I suspect you have questions. Yes, I do. What do we have here? Uh, you work for Han Panharel. I came to find you. How did you do that? Tough call. You work for Han Already with the accusations. I think I'll say this. How did you do that? Tell me about the mark because it's... You know, it is in her hand. This causing her pain. Oh, the music is gorgeous. I can also say this. One of these two, I think, will start with this. How were you able to control the anchor? In the same way as when I stopped it from killing you at Haven. Although I am stronger now, the mark you bear was bestowed upon you by the orb of Fenharel. My orb. Your Fenharel. Ooh. I was soulless first. Fenharel came later. An insult I took as a badge of pride. The Dread Wolf inspired hope in my friends, and fear in my enemies. Not unlike Inquisitor, I suppose. Kind of. And now you know. What is the old Dalish curse? May the Dread Wolf take you? Ah. So, first of all, he's not Fan Harel, he's like Flemeth. Like, Flemeth is carrying, was carrying in her Methal, he carries Dread Wolf. Yes, ironically. May the Dread Wolf take you. You're like Mythal then. That's one. Good, but. It... What we had is over. You lied to me. My people were wrong. You lied to me. This uh, bullying. No, not bullying, but uh, accusing. I think I will try with this one. Yes, ironically. Or with this. If these two don't exclude each other, I would say this one and then this. Yes, ironically, but it seems like it is excluding each other. He revealed this, this to us. Holy crap. Now, I don't want to, to, to say this. They had a connection. They This will end the romance, more or less. And I want the romance to be there. I think this. So he did. I did not. I would not lay with you under false pretenses. But you lied to me. I loved you. Did you really think I wouldn't have understood? Okay. Tell Abelas, Fernan. Tell Abelas. If you care, give me the truth. 
I sought to set my people free from slavery to would-be gods. I broke the chains of all who wished to join me. Okay. The false gods called me Fenharel, and when they finally went too far, I formed the veil and banished them forever. Okay. Thus I freed the elven people, and in so doing, destroyed their world. Hmm, whoa, a bunch of questions. What happens next? These are questions, so we have to get answers from him. Ah, oh, he will most possibly answer a little bit vaguely. But, oh my god, what a stunning moment. I really feel the motion here. How did the gods go too far? You said that the elven gods went too far. What did they do that made you move against them? They killed me all. <laughs> Crime for which an eternity of torment is the only fitting punishment. I thought Mithal was one of the other nearest. She was the best of them. She cared for her people. She protected them. Okay. She was a voice of reason. And in their lust for power, they killed her. Now that's a revelation. The things I, I suspected when we saw the, um, uh, the tapestries, but. Uh, Things he, the, the the paintings of the elves. That was cool. The elven gods aren't dead, you say. You banished the false gods. You didn't kill them. You met Mithal, did you not? The first of my people do not die so easily. The Evanuris are banished forever, paying the ultimate price for their misdeeds. Hmm. Why did you form the Veil? How did they become gods? Yeah, tell me this. The Evanuris were elven mages. How did they come to be remembered as gods? Slowly. It started with a war. Finally, war answers. Fear. fear breeds a desire for simplicity. Good and evil, right and wrong. That's Chains true. Command. After the war ended, generals became respected elders and kings. Finally, gods. The Avenurus. Cool. Uh, why did you form the veil? So he did split the world. I, I said that. I believe that. I found it. That it's, it's an artificial construction. You love the fade. Why would you create the veil to hide it all away? Because every alternative was worse. Meaning? Ooh. Had I not created the veil. The Avenuris would have destroyed the entire world. Oh, great. And the Veil destroyed the world, you say? Yeah, because it separated magic and physical world. So they are now two separate worlds. And, well, you can only imagine the possibilities and potential that that world had. Uh, how did creating the Veil destroy the world? You saw the remains of Via Dathara. The library was intrinsically tied to the Fade, and the Veil destroyed it. There were countless other marvels, all dependent on the presence of the Fae, all destroyed. Your legends are half right. We were immortal. It was not the arrival of humans that caused us to begin aging. At the Veil. It was me. The Veil took everything from the elves. Even themselves. Holy crap! But I like the fact that, first of all, that Bioware actually did this in this uh, DLC, that they revealed the whole story, or most most of the story. What's That's now? The past. What about the future? I lay yeah. in dark and dreaming sleep while countless wars and ages passed. I woke still weak a year before I joined you. Okay. My people fell for what I did to strike the Evanuris down. But still, some hope remains for restoration. I will save the elven people, even if it means this world must die. Oh, not good. Why is it necessary? This is a good question. I don't agree with that goal, even if I am Dalish, because this world has few things that are beautiful. Don't make me fight you. Sounds okay, but... I think this. Why does this world have to die for the elves to return? A good question, but not one I will answer. 
You have always shown a thoughtfulness I respected. It would be too easy to tell you too much. Mm -hmm. I am not Corypheus. I take no joy in this. But the return of my people means the end of yours. It is my fight. You should be more concerned about the Inquisition. Your Inquisition. Okay. In stopping the Dragon's Breath, you have prevented an invasion by Canari forces. That's good, I think. With luck, they will return their focus to Devinter. That should give you a few years of relative peace. Hmm. What about the Illuvians here? Yeah. You control the Illuvians now? Yes. You remember Briala from Halam Shiral? Okay. For a time, she controlled part of the labyrinth. You took One of that my from her. was supposed to take it from her. But he did not succeed. I had to override the magic personally. The Canari stumbled upon this section independently. With them gone, the Illuvians are now mine. What will you do? That's a big question with them. Yeah, the mark. But first, what should I be concerned? Is it really my Inquisition, yeah? The Kunari said the Inquisition was unknowingly working for agents of Fenharel. I gave no orders. You led us to Skyhold. Corypheus should have died unlocking my orb. When he survived, my plans were thrown into chaos. Makes when sense. When he survived, I saw the Inquisition as the best hope this world had of stopping him. And you needed a home. Hence, Skyhold. <laughs> You gave him your orb that was meant to happen. What was meant to happen? I think this one is a good question. What would have happened if Corypheus had died and you'd recovered the orb? I would have entered the Fade using the mark you now bear. Then I would have torn down the veil. As this world burned in the raw chaos, I would have restored the world of my time. The world of the elves. Yeah, but then the Elven Gods return. If you destroyed the Veil, wouldn't the False Gods be freed? I had plans. That's monstrous, truly. Sounds bad. I think this... I never thought of you as someone who would do that service. Thank you. You must understand. I awoke in a world where the Veil had blocked most people's conscious connection to the Fade. It was like walking through a world of tranquil. Mm -hmm. We aren't even people to you. Not at oh. first. You showed me that I was wrong. Again. That does not make what must come next any easier. Okay. God! They they know how to build this emotion in, in, in someone. Freaking awesome dialogue. You gave him your orb. You gave your orb to Corypheus? Not directly. My agents allowed the Venatori to locate it. The orb had built up magical energy while I lay unconscious for millennia. I was not powerful enough to open it. Okay. The plan was for Corypheus to unlock it, and for the resulting explosion to kill him. Then I would claim the orb. I did not foresee a Devinter Magister having learned the secret of effective immortality. Yeah, he changed even if his body was destroyed and decayed he was can he was able to move through the taint to another body so we were pawns thanks i guess appreciated the question is what i appreciate thanks i guess for whatever it's worth thanks for the castle <laughs> for whatever it's worth you used it well why should i be concerned what about the mark this moves forward, the dialogue I believe, judging with the judging uh, with the icon, so I think we're gonna go with this first. Why should I be concerned? What's wrong with the Inquisition? You created a powerful organization, and now it suffers the inevitable fate of such. Betrayal and corruption. It's okay. not that simple. Do you know how I discovered the Canari plot? The plot I disrupted by leading them to your doorstep. The Canari spies in the Inquisition tripped over my spies in the Inquisition. The Elven Guard who led you to the Canari body, who intercepted the servant with the Gatlock Barrel. Mine. So you did help, right? Why bother disrupting the Canari plot if you're going to destroy the world regardless? You have shown me that there is value in this world, Inquisitor. I take no joy in what I must do. Until hmm. that day comes, 
I would see those recovering from the breach free of the Kune. Why? Because I am not a monster. If they must die, I would rather they die in comfort. In any event, it is done. I don't think that's a good idea to... You set up both. You set us both up. Now, I will... Even if he has to be an enemy uh, from this moment forward, I would say uh, that he is some... He is uh, an enemy that Olivia can respect. That's for sure. Because they had this... The thing that joined them, the, the, the romance, the, the fight against Corypheus. Looking back, he's not a figure that she can just purely hate. So I think we're gonna say with this. I guess we owe you for that one too. I hope it gives your people some final peace. We'll see. Future games will most possibly interfere with this plan and the mark. There's still the matter of the anchor. It's getting worse. I know, Venan. And we are running out of time. <laughs> Seems nothing can be done with it. The mark will eventually kill you. Drawing you here gave me the chance to save you. At least for now. Hmm. The Inquisition will try to convince Solus to change his plan. The Inquisition will stop Solus even if it means killing him. Oh, that's a tough one. I won't give up on you. This sounds like Livia. The 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 the, the, the when well, I was talking with him somewhere during the Inquisition, he was asking, he's asking the Inquisitor about few things that are really important. Uh, what do you want to do with the power you collect? Things like that. And there is a thing, there is a line that you can say that even if it's something goes wrong, we'll try again. So I think we'll try this. The Inquisition will try to convince Solus to change his plan. I won't give up on you. I wish you could, Venom. <laughs> My love. She's dying. Or maybe not yet. Whoa! Beautiful one. Never forget you. Cool. How cool is that? Holy crap, they did a fantastic job.